Hi everybody, so I'm making a video showing you um, what I am listing today and some uh, roadblocks I came up against. Uh, first, look behind me. This is Five Nights at Freddy's. It says Circus Babies Pizza World. I don't know what that is, but I do know Five Nights at Freddy's is a really fun game. Uh, my daughter got it on uh, the laptop, like a PC. Um, and it pretty much, you try to get through this whole uh, pizza place that's like, it's at night. And you have to you have to go all night and not get attacked by these guys. Um, but they'll scare you and it's like, boo! I mean, it's, it's pretty, it's called jump scare. And yeah, <laughs> it's really fun. All right. Um, I listed that for $24.99 because they don't make them anymore. It's from 2017. You know, it's great when they don't make it anymore because you have one and you just can't get it in stores. So, um, and I am not including free shipping. I usually don't include free shipping. Oh, a little about me. Um, I'm Jennifer. I am Cactus Blossom, um, my selling platforms. I've been on eBay for 20 years, Mercari since 2017, and I think Poshmark maybe 2016. I don't remember. Um, I could look it up, but that's my phone, so <laughs> not right now. Um, so I do know quite a bit about eBay, and it's doing something weird right now. I need to check and see why, um, but it has to do with these DVDs. Now, I like to sell DVDs. They're pretty easy. Depends on what it is. You have to look it up, which I have a video about how to look up things to see how if they sell. This one is called A Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. I don't know what it is. Um, and you look for off the wall stuff. My son saw this. So Paul, if it sells, you get the money. <laughs> um, it's something about uh, the Catholic church or I don't know, something, a documentary. It's about some dude. All right, anyway, people like it because I um, listed it for 1850. It looks like it's sold for $18 used like 25 new and wait this is new <laughs> is this the one i listed for 25 i don't remember but it, it was a good flip because i got it for like a dollar these i got for a dollar each do you remember beatrix potter now this one um mr mrs tiggy winkle and mr jeremy fisher and other stories we had the books now did you have these or your kids had these there's one here called, um, no, it's on this one, the um, original Peter Rabbit books by Beatrix Potter. All right, my daughter Alyssa, we used to say puddle duck. And like when she saw a puddle, she used to say puddle duck. And I forgot where that came from. And it was from a book. It is from this Peter Rabbit and Friends. There's the tale of Tom Kitten and Jemima Puddle Duck. And she is a duck. It's so cute. So I'm like, and, you know, sometimes we go thrifting to find things or garage sales or whatever. And um, we can really get, I'm getting on a rabbit trail, but this is important about um, when you're going out to find things, sourcing. So a lot of times we'll see this and be like, oh, it's so cute. I remember that from when my kids were little. Well, that's like half the store, like toys and, you know, um, books and stuff like that. But are they really worth anything? You really need to look up the comps. Um, I'll do another um, one, how to do it on the phone, because I do have one about how to do it on the, uh, like, computer. All right, so these, it's not a huge, <laughs> not a huge, um, uh, like, profit on these, but at this store we go to, you spend $20 and then you can use the 20% off coupon, and my son had picked some stuff up, which I'll show you, some are, like, not gonna work oh one's way over there anyway <laughs> you're not gonna see that one um we were at like 18 dollars, so i ran over and got these and um let's see two dollars i spent for them and i listed it for 14.99 so what i'll make like ten dollars because you have to figure listing fees um and then it'll well it'll be free shipping so that's going to be I'll make $10 because it's like $3 for media mail, which I'm going to get to because there's a problem right now. 
and I know how to get around it. So if you're having a problem trying to put media mail on eBay and it's not taking it, I have the answer. So stay here, okay? Because I do have a lot of uh, great things that I bought to sell, some that I know will sell, and um, some that I have sold before and I'm hoping it won't take forever. These were a surprise. Look, I got a bunch of them. Can you see what it is? Pure Barre. And I know that's some kind of workout, but I don't do that. I do like treadmill and <laughs> weights. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got these and they're all Pure Barre. Lift, tone, and burn. I think it's some kind of CrossFit. It looks, I don't know, it looks like they're doing aerobics. And then, what are they doing? See? I don't know. Anyway, oh, they have a weight. So this is super popular. And Pure Bari, I think it's one of those places you go to. <laughs> a gym. <laughs> um, but they have, you know, little ones in like strip malls. I think that's what this is. Anyway, I saw these brand new were like sold for $85 for all eight of them. And I have just six. That's all I could find. Because when you find one or two and you see they're selling for a lot of money for all of them, just search the entire DVD rack. So I picked all of these, they're like a dollar each, and I listed them, I think for 65 for these, because I have so many of them. Um, they are used, but they have like teeny, teeny, tiny scratches from, you know, regular use, so they are totally playable. So these are a good one, and it's not really off the wall, but as far as workout videos, I have not seen these. You see, ta not Taekwondo, <laughs> that kickboxing, what's that one? Um, the, poo, poo, you know, that guy and he's on the commercial now and he gets his, uh, like stress out by, he, what's that kickboxing? I don't know. Anyway, I wasn't into that. Um, all right. So look for DVDs that are not just the regular movies that you would see at the theater. Um, really different kind of DVDs, um, and look them up and you might be able to sell something. All right, vintage perfume. Has anyone ever heard of, where is it? Madame Viennette. No, Madeline Viennette. And it looks like a, a dress or something. I think she's known for, um, for style or something, like dresses. And yeah, because look, this is a thimble. So she must be like a seamstress. Um, I don't know, but it smells so good and it's discontinued and you see, it's like, I said 90% full. What would you say? Cause I think what, if you made this into tenths, that's like a 10th is gone. You think so it'd be 90. Let me know if you think that's not fair and I should put less. Um, this, I believe I listed for $34.99 because there were some brand new ones for like 50 so used, you know, it's open, someone used it, and there's some gone, quite a bit. So um, you lower the price and it has the label on the bottom. That's how you can tell how much is in there, um, as opposed to, there's like travel sizes. So you want to make sure you're putting the correct size. This is a full size. So I did put, it's like 3.4 ounces. All right, this is what I listed. Um... What was one? I thought I had listed it. I don't remember. Um, all right. So some things that I bought. Well, this one I did list. I don't know if I showed you this. Uh, do you know what a B150 and bazooka is? I had no idea until my son said, hey, my friend has this motherboard, gaming motherboard that he wants to sell and he never used it. And I need some money. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> let's sell it. And I, you know, I'll sell it and give him the money or whatever. Cause I had to do nothing to this. It's not like I had to clean it or anything like that. Um, so super easy, but this, I think I listed it for like $225 because I didn't see these anywhere else. Um, I did see them sold, I think on Amazon for quite a bit. It was more than that. So this is a deal for somebody gaming computer. Look at Cactus Blossom on eBay if you want this. I should put the link in my uh, video. That would make sense, right? In the comments. 
All right, some stuff I bought to sell. I don't know if I showed you all this before, but these, ooh, what was that? Something fell out. Ooh, you know what this is, right? All ladies and guys who cook big cookies. Um, It is, oh my gosh, it's gonna fall out. Let me see if I can do it. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> um, people buy these like crazy around Christmas. I don't know. Maybe these aren't made anymore. But um, this one, the last one I got was pretty clean. Um, this is, there's a different one. My other one's way over there. I would show you. Maybe I'll show you in a minute here. This has everything. Well, look. See, the box is not totally clean. It's kind of yuck right there. Um, I'll try to wipe it, but this one is supposed to be dark. It's, I hate this sound. It's not too bad. It makes that styrofoam sound. Um, there is some cleaning I have to do. If you can notice here, it looks like, I mean, I have to clean that. So it's not too much cleaning. I've had juicers and stuff that, you're like, really? Did you use this? It's so gross. But the star from here has kind of, like they put it in here, like not clean one time. But it has everything. This is the cap, and it has these things. I've never used one, so I don't know. Um, but these, I call them bread and butter. They always sell. So sorry if you other resellers think that I'm giving away the secrets. I kind of am. I will be right back. I'm going to run over there and get those two items. Stay here. <laughs> you hear me? Make a noise. Oh, this one's heavy. All right. Oh my gosh. I'll try not to knock everything down. I kind of have vertigo, so this is... <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. Okay. This is the other one. Well, this. <laughs> wherever super shooter this one has the manual in it um wait does it yeah because <laughs> i just sold one around christmas i found this one and then i found that one another time it's an easy 35 dollars this other model i showed you the dark one it goes for more i'm not sure why so i'll try to sell it for 40 this is obviously ikea calax it's some box. See, it's, I think I listed that for like 20 or something, but no, more than that, 40. <laughs> I can't remember, but this was a good pick. A lot of Ikea stuff sells really well. All right, I'm going to show you some stuff. Good pick and a bad pick. Um, these, it seems like these Afghans, like the retro or vintage colors, orange and brown, like very 70s. These tend to sell really well, but I did notice it's too late to return it, so that's how I roll. But there's a couple things here. Maybe you crochet. I mean, I crochet, but I don't know how to do this. Oh my gosh. It's pretty cool, right? There's a couple areas. Oh, here it is. Look. Um, see that? It's like the person tied off, but they didn't. Maybe they did push it in there how you're supposed to, but it came out. So I'm not sure. Maybe I should just try to weave it back in. What do you all think? But these could sell for like 30 or 40 bucks. Not a huge, I'll probably make $20 on it, but I, I just liked it. So sometimes we do that where we um, buy things that we just like. And I want to make at least $20 if it's not too hard to ship. I'll even do 10 bucks if I can just throw it in a bag or a box and ship it. These are super easy. Isn't that cool? All right. I'm just, see, I'm like nerding out on these. Cool. So, and could you imagine that on someone's couch and it's all like retro looking, all vintage, whatever you could, not retro. Is it 70s is vintage, right? I love these. I mean, I could probably make it myself, but I just picked them up for $2 each. So. I'm not going to spend hours making it. I'll leave that to you, you Etsy people. Um, let's see. Okay, my son went... Oh, I found these. Look. 
these are like when you are tired of hearing it <laughs> i don't want to hear it anymore <laughs> um i think oh my gosh can't even hear myself um when you go to a shooting range or something but my daughter has autism so when she gets really tired of listening to us i'm gonna give her these and i forgot um but these will be really good because sometimes it's just the talking and all the sounds is like too much but hey these are pretty pretty good so let me show you the next thing all right my son i told him to look at things he kind of knows about which <laughs> does he really know about these <laughs> It's a dirt devil vacuum. It's it has it here, obviously. I mean, if anyone knows, it's a dirt devil, right? Um, and look, it's dirty and it smells. And the belt is off, but I think it'll turn on. He's like, it was this one was a dollar sale. Here, let me turn it on. Ah! Oh, God. Okay, so it turns on. Ah! But I didn't check to see if it actually has suction, which it's too loud for this video. He got that one. Then he found another one, which was not on the dollar day. It was just like regular. It's, I don't, it's, that's for attachments, right? I don't even know. Um, but look how dirty. It's oh, yucky. So I think this one powers on. He said it powered on, so I'm not going to do that here. But it was $5.49. Too late for me to return it. It smells like dust. Oh, so Paul, oh my gosh. I don't know if that's a good deal. Well, look at, oh my gosh, look, this one might be older. Oh, crap. I'm sorry I dropped you. <laughs> okay, what else going to show you? That looks really different. It's It looks older. And then look at this one. It looks like a newer one. <laughs> All right, quick story, because this is getting long. My ring light fell. Um, okay, when Paul was little, um, uh, I met my husband at church. And <laughs> we were, this church was at like a little strip mall. And we had to clean um, at the end of church, you know, cause someone has to do that. So we had a dirt devil vacuum at church. It's the devil. So, <laughs> but we weren't that kind of church. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're cleaning and he used to chase my son around with the dirt devil and Paul would say, the devil, dirt devil. And it's so funny that he picked up the dirt devil at Goodwill. I mean, he didn't even say that. He was just like, look, mom. And it's worth money, and maybe it's in the back of his head that the dirt devil is, I don't know, special somehow. All right, so media mail, what happened is I went to list these, um, and media mail is like $2.89 is what I noticed. It used to be two eighty. dollars uh, went up recently. It was not allowing me to put media mail for DVDs, which as far as I know, you can do DVDs media mail it's media you know so it wasn't letting me do it but there is another service that will pirate ship if you don't use it you should check it out it's not always cheaper sometimes it's exactly the same um but it allows media mail so what i'm going to do is look it up how much media mail is then go to ebay where my listing is because i didn't um activate the listing yet because i want to make sure because sometimes things sell like right away and I don't want someone to buy it and I'm paying first class because that's like four dollars, you know, and that dollar and 11 cents makes it'll make a difference. Um, so what I'll do is put it in pirate ship and have the 289. Then I'll go to eBay and probably do, I don't know, flat rate free or first class free and then write. I don't know. Somehow I'll make it where it's media mail. <laughs> or I'll lower the price and do a flat rate of $3. Um, that'll cover my envelope or box or whatever. Um, and there's no shame in adding a dollar to, to cover your shipping supplies. I usually do exact shipping, but when I have something really large, that's not that. 
like a big appliance or something, I'll add two dollars because it takes me half an hour to put it in the box and bubble wrap and all that. And it's a lot of supplies. Like I have to buy a box and it's all the bubbles and sometimes packing peanuts. I don't usually buy those. I usually get them for free, but I will buy um, the small bubbles. I'll buy like big rolls of it. I can't remember if there's someone else, something else I was going to show you. I think that's it. Um, I do want to show you how to look up comps on eBay and Mercari and Poshmark and how to cross post them quickly um, without having to use list perfectly. Um, I think once I get to where I'm listing a ton every day and like full time, maybe I'll do that, but I am far from full time. Um, like I said, I have a daughter with autism. I got to run and get her from school. Oh, like now. <laughs> I have a few minutes, like five. Um, but yeah, so I have a lot going on. But you can still do eBay and have a lot going on. You see, I have this time right here because I, I uh, do caregiving. So I don't have a job during the day. It's like afternoon and evening, but it's with my daughter. Um, and yeah, anyway, so I do this. So I don't have to get a regular job because the hours just are not going to work with picking her up from school and all that. So this is a great way to make money if you know what you're doing and you can handle all the baloney that comes with it. Because there's customer service issues. There's just eBay, knowing all the rules, knowing shipping, how to not um, pay someone to buy something for you because you messed up on shipping. Um, I can go over that, but leave questions for me in the comments because I have been doing this for 20 years. I know the ins and outs. Um, if there's anything I don't know, I can find out because I, I've been through, I think, everything with them. <laughs> Lately, a lot of stuff about returns. So, and even some stuff I messed up. <clears throat> so, 